Welcome back. Here we are, day two of attempting puzzles on Woogles.io. I admit, in the interim, I've actually given this a bit more of an attempt, uh, this time with the NWL lexicon. And, um, well, some of the words are findable. So, hopefully this is going to be more fun. Um, so, we'll see what words I know. Now, I would like to spell a 7 or an 8 out of this. I recognize that 7s and 8s are difficult. So as a baseline, 27 is our base. That probably we can beat somehow. But how? I mean, hitting this triple word well, there's a problem with that in that we are... Uh, that T is vulnerable from both directions. So that's actually two problems. Um, it'd be also good if somehow we could build a word across from the V. But I can't imagine that happening here. So, use your imagination. You'll probably figure it out before I do if you're into word games. Um, mole cart. That would be fun. Meal cart. Does not fit anywhere. Yeah, I don't think there's a seven. There's not a lot of candidate places on the board. And, I mean, basically you'd have to have a an 8 through the O here. Or something tricky through the O and the B, and yeah, it just looks unlikely to score bingo here. Unless A but, like somehow we're, but there aren't enough vowels to support that. Uh, the consonants we have don't seem to support that idea either. Um, yeah, Comet's not a bad guess. We'll be here all day if I don't start making some guesses. Let's start there. Alright, so we've made one attempt. But we can try again. Um, yeah, I mean, what could there be? Comet does score 27. 27's not terrible. Hmm. We have Valet, which also scores 27. So that could have been a clue. It can't be Comet or Valet, because there is one clearly best play. So I'm thinking of a Latin word, Lacrimosa, which definitely is not here. Both on account of being a Latin word and not having exactly the letters for it. We have like article M, which that's no good either. Yeah, I don't know. I'm stumped. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> 45 points. Okay, I was blind to this, not just because it's a ridiculous play, but also because like it scores this double and that double word score which is how it manages to heftily outscore Comet and Valet. Also, it burns the sea, which is pretty cool. <laughs> That's epic. All right. Um, hmm. XU, I don't know if letters to prefix or suffix that. And unless you have like the word exude, which we don't. Uh, it'd be cool to have, like, a 9 here. UN is a nice prefix. On Pete, I something. Doesn't look like it. Um. Hmm.
Poutine. I peanut. Peanut is probably it. Well, there's not a great place to put it, is there? But it looks like such a good word. Uh, T-U. I don't think T-U's a word, though. Hmm. Otherwise, peanut would be great. How much would it score? So that's 25. But again, it's U-T, not T-U. Ut being the seventh salmonization of the Solfege scale. Um, hmm. No, not the seventh one, the first one. Ut, Remi, Fa, etc. From the Golden Sequence. So what else are we looking at? So T accepts an A or an I down here. So I like the word taupe occurs to me, but that doesn't fit here. I'm starting to understand why players prefer a defensive style. Because, like, facing this is daunting. But if you can handle all your twos, threes, and fours really well, you can run circles around other players. At least until you meet... Um, an equal opponent, and then it gets really hard. I have not the faintest clue what this could be. Petunia. I was also questioning whether oppo was a word. Let's look it up. Define this. Short for apolipoprotein. A type of protein. All right, next. So we have canary, but we don't have the R. There is an R available, but not really. Um, hmm. We have latency with an E instead of an L. We have, I don't know. Hmm, this is hard. We have like cayenne minus an N. We have city. City's a nice suffix, but A A E N city wouldn't work. Um again, it'd be amazing if something just run down through gelts. I don't see that happening. Something running across here could be cool, but don't think so. Hmm. Again, I don't have A, Z. I am just super in the dark here. I think the conclusion we reach here is that this game is just a difficult game. So... It's not something I can help, is it? Yeah, I'm stumped. I need to move on and get to one that I solve. And then we'll build up confidence and tough it out on some harder ones.
Cyanates. That's a cool word. Between better bot and this player case, so. Alright, let's try another word. You know, this is going to reinforce playable bingos and other playable words, so. This is one way to learn words the hard way. You could study word lists, but how entertaining is that for y'all? I couldn't manage it. I'd be bored. Um, we have like heinous, except with an M. Miss something? No, that wouldn't fit on this board. The V blocks plays below there. Um, IES is a suffix. So you could potentially have muon IES, which doesn't sound right. IST might be a suffix, but then you have even more vowels to deal with. If you could somehow score a ton of points down here, that could be something. Like miso scores 29. It's not going to be the word, but, you know... I want to try it just in case it happens to be. Saves myself a lot of time. Um, but it's not. <clears throat> so, if it's not 29 points... Where in the world could this... I mean, if you were to hit the ZA, that would be amazing. Mount something. Mountieza. Sure, let's put an S on the end while we're at it. Mountiezas. Dang. Yeah, I have no idea. Show me. I don't know this word. I don't think I've even seen it before. Um, it seems like a really useful word. A compound containing ions of the kind with names ending in onium. Onium. Okay. So that's like plutonium and such. Any compound that contains ions... Uh, and those ions are of atoms or elements that uh, end in onium. That general compound is called onium. Had no idea. And that's part of why I give up early on these, is that I'm trying, but like some, t some of these are just extremely hard puzzles. All right. Uh, this is almost like 10 ers like $10 bills, but no. Uh, we have one vowel. Um, that's a problem. Is there a creative solution to this problem? How could there be a creative solution to this? What in the world could be going on here? I see the S. If we don't score a ridiculously high score, we want to hold on to the S. Um, so... I mean... No, this wouldn't score much at all. Um, anything we put there. Hmm. 
This is a good exercise, but also, oh my goodness. So we have yams and shovels. It scores 22, but we can almost certainly do better. Or at least you can. Um, Nox, N-O-X, I think is nitrous oxide, but also Latin for night. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't score anywhere near 22. Um, hmm. I have no flipping clue. That's incredible. Well, just, it's incredible to me that this is a puzzle. I mean, Yams and Shovels is not terrible, but I don't like it. Um, could there be something across here that scores a lot? We get 7 from OIKS. Um, no, I don't think so. Could have E S there. You have tones. That doesn't score. At, well, the leave is decent. It's still not a breakout play though. But I have no idea. If I build vertically, I have tines for like ten points. Um. Let's try this. Alright, how about yams and shovels? That can't be it, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. What is it? Enter. With three parallel plays. Well, the bot might find it. I might not find that. In, fat, gale. But, okay, and yeah, NST is not a terrible leave. There's no vowel there, but it's okay. This is actually dangerous um, on account of the player score being so close. But, sure. Um, also, like, when we're playing here, does this indicate player one and player two? Like, you're player one, right? Even if player two was the player who actually went first this game. I don't know. Um, so Zah here for 31 doesn't seem terrible. Uh, that might just be it. Because... Wait, no, Z-O I think is the international lexicon. It wouldn't apply here. I don't see anywhere else to stick the Z. I'm okay with 31. Ah, 31 looks fine to me. But okay. How could we score more? This can't possibly be a thing, right? That seems... Yeah, that's not it. I'm just making up words, because this is hard. Hmm. Yeah, please show me. I have no idea. Spritz. Okay, that's a findable word. It's not an easy one to find. It is findable. Oh, here. This should be comparatively uh, simple. Or at least, you know, if I were to see this in the actual game, my reaction would be, I've got a blank, and therefore there must be at least one good play here. Probably. But since there are puzzles... That means there's exactly one best play. And finding the best 
play is our task here. Hmm. Clip ST. Something S. Lipstick. Does not fit anywhere. Plastic. Okay, where could plastic fit on this board? Weds, I guess. Um, it's probably weds and plastic. Sun free. Wouldn't that be a fun word? 74? Yeah, we got one! And it only took us a very long time. Alright. Um. Hmm. This is like swanky, but that X is not a K. W A Y snacks way. <laughs> uh, good God. How could this? There, it feels like there's got to be a seven-letter word here, but also it's probably not a word that I've seen before. Wax. Um. I mean, I don't see it. It might not be a 7. If there's a really good place to drop the X, then we don't have to worry about getting a bingo. Um, I don't see... Like, I can't fit the X up here. Um... I could fit axe here. I don't know if naba is a word. But yeah, if this is valid, uh, 50 is not a terrible score. If that's a valid word, it's probably not. Um, okay. Yeah, like 50 beats this out, but this is... can't imagine this being it. It's like, is the word x-rays or something like that? X-ray for 48? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't know. Let's find out. Waxy! Okay. Had the right spot, the right idea, but didn't think that was a word, but should have guessed it. Um. Alright. This is tricky, too. Woe and X is a smart place to start, I think. Um, it's 40 points, but I'd like to score more, but I don't see how. Yeah, good guess me. Good guess. All right. Um...
<laughs> Wax. 55. Yeah, we got it. Woo! Oh, we don't have an X this time. Well, that means we're gonna... Our record is gonna be lost. We can't... I don't know. It'd be a lot easier if we had just another X bomb, but... That ain't happening. Um... Huh. Where could a Z fit? I don't see it. Z-A-S? But no, Belches takes E-S, not S. Uh, I've never seen duration spelled like this. I don't know this word. Um... Yeah, where's the Z going to be played for a ridiculous amount of points? It's got to go somewhere, but where? We don't have an E. Well, we can't play Z E crossed with E E here anyway. Um. Not a lot to go on here. We have like rays, which scores basically nothing. I don't think ZE is in this lexicon. I think that's maybe an international thing. Although I don't know what's in the latest NWL 20, but we can check. Check ZE. Oops. It is valid, but only in the international lexicon. Not in, well, only in my copy of the International Lexicon. It might still be in here. Um, I'm going to guess it, because I just have no idea. No, okay. Didn't score that well anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. Let's find out. I've seen this word before. I still don't remember what it means. The call to prayer. Interesting. Um... Feels like an R would fit there. Ruin is not great. Um, where else could these tiles fit? It feels like just getting something that fits on the board would be an achievement. So maybe up here somewhere? We have winner. Is winner a winner? Nope, it's only 20. Um, now oh, does that fit better down here or something? So this is 24? No, this is 14. Silly me, that doesn't even hit the double. I misread that.
I have no idea. Unmute. What does this mean? To release from confinement or restraint. Um... Uh, it feels like flicker almost fits, but no, we're missing a U. One U appears here, which is not going to be useful. QI is frequently played in this game. Um, hmm. But would not score particularly well here. Still, dumping the Q... Equity-wise, it's a good thing. I don't know how good it is, but it's a good thing. QAT does not fit anywhere. Oh, here we are. QI. No. Well, I insist that I'm correct, so take that. Um, well, it's not just the Q drop. Is it QI over here? Didn't think so. Wait. 32? No? That ain't it either. What? Okay. Well, let's throw in the towel once more. Oh! We've seen this word, like, once or twice before. Um, what does it mean? The direction of the place to which Muslims must turn for prayer. Now the Kaaba, or Kaaba at Mecca. Also Qibla, Qibla, Qibla. Oh, wow. Interesting. And then, yeah, you point out Kabbalah. Uh, WTF points this out. Which is a Jewish doctrine based on hidden meanings in sacred texts. Okay, which has a lot of spellings. Also, welcome. Yeah, I think I got like three, maybe four puzzles so far. And we'll just keep going a little bit longer. As long as we have <laughs> the strength for it. Man, I just want to make Aqueduct. That'd be so fun. Where's the puzzles where you just get to like extend an existing word and make some ridiculous word? There should be a category for that. Equity puzzles are one thing, but just fun word plays. <sighs> Come on. Anyway. Apparently this is a spelling of odor. We've got, like, hedge? No? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> uh, E-R is a nice suffix, but... Uh, badger or something... Dareth. Uh, headgear. H e a d g e a r. If we had an open A, we don't have an open A. Grr. All right. So, what the heck? It's obviously headgear, they just didn't give us the right tiles. <laughs> hmm. 
It's amazing. People deeply, deeply invest themselves in this game. Far, far deeper than I do. And not everybody has a proclivity to it anyway. Um, or they just haven't immersed themselves deeply enough yet. That's just nuts how crazy some people are, how awesome they are at this. And... Yeah. I'm on the other side, but... It's important to have players of all skill levels. Um, I wanted to spell like dough. Uh, with that with the G here, but no, uh, that doesn't work. Not even close. There's an open O here and an open O there, and a T here, but that's about it. Um, so like charge, C-H-A-R-G might be it. Oh, charged would score even slightly better. And it'd be fantastic if we could use the final letter, but a D charge isn't a word. I'm pretty confident it's discharge rather than decharge. Um, man, this is brutal. How, if there is an eight, surely it's with the C and the H together. I can't see though how it would happen. Okay, let's try this. I was happy with it. What in the world could I have missed? Like, the H obviously goes with the C, because this by itself scores 15 points. But then we've got to, like, build the rest of the word. And... Char edge or something? Edge char? I don't know. That ain't it. Alright. I'm mad. Show me the answer. I am mistaken. Gathered. That's a nice play. Yeah, that's a really nice play. And yeah, that's a good hint, WTF. I was too mad to try to solve it, but um, yeah, that's a good hint. Let's move on. Hmm. Homie? Um, doesn't seem to score a lot. Well, homie over here is not so bad, actually. Um... Still looking for a better place, because you'd like to make parallel plays. Score a ridiculous amount of points instead of just a good amount of points. But I don't think it fits below that. So yeah, this seems like a decent place. Um, yeah, 55 points. That's way better than I thought. I keep forgetting, like, if you have a double word score and a triple letter score, and you're building a parallel play here, that's really powerful. Um, let's see. I see your message. Two... something eight? Two pipe eight or something? I'm not sure I understand. But yeah, it's got to be homey. Unless there's like a way to add even more letters to it. I got it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, perhaps there's a bit of a latency in effect. 
Um, but yeah, homie was great. Um, twerp. Twerp finned. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Um, faint scores like 10. Just definitely not worth it. Oh, infinity words. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's a cool game. Um, so yeah, faint is the first thing that occurs to me here. Infinite? Wait, does infinite actually fit here? Um, I... Let's try that again. Is this the only place it fits? I mean, it's a bingo, so that's it. Infinity words, yeah. Subtle clue. <laughs> I eventually got it. Not on purpose. Perhaps it was my subconscious that linked it together. Um... Ice grit. Tricer? No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's too good of a hint. But eh, I don't mind it. I'll take my victories at this point. Tarek? T E R I C. E. Wait, ing could. F well, ing is not going to be a suffix there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think ing is a suffix here. It has a prefix up there. Um. Hmm. Energetic? It's nine. And requires letters that I don't have. Cringe? Um, could be it. C-R-I-N-G-E. Yeah. Looks like it's worth a try. I'm too mad to stick around trying everything. All right, let's take a guess. Or er, reciting. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, that's a word, probably. <laughs> Eocene. What in the world? Of rock formed in the second epoch of the tertiary geological period. Hmm. Okay. We've got some fun, fun letters here. Hey, you know, exchange is an option. <laughs> I've been told, though, it's not the solution. But... Mmm. I want to exchange. Oh my gosh. The hell. Well, if there's a word that scores a ton of points, it probably hits the J, or somehow it's a bingo. But we have six vowels. Play EO scene. Yeah, I tried to find a way. Is there any way that I could play the same word EO scene? like vertically through that doesn't look like that's playable here 
Um, Joe, 10 points. G, 10 points. Uh, yeah, heck if I know. Also, Joe might not be a word. Although some people use Joe uh, as a stand-in for coffee. Hmm. All right. Well, if there's a word, maybe it would go here. Let's try Eocene without the leading E. Why not? All right, show me what it is. Coo E. What in the world is that? To cry out shrilly. Also, coo E. Okay. Yeah, I, there's a lot of places that you could place tiles here. I wanted to spell like ozone, but that's not at all it. Um, something here. <laughs> Z O is in the International Dictionary. Uh, Z E is in the International Dictionary. Z O I think is in both. I want to try this. Thirty one. No twenty one. No thirty one because we hit the J here. But um. Bonds. Yeah, I don't know. Show me. Zoned. Okay, yes. Uh, that does hit a double letter score and a double word score. So the Z itself is worth 40 points for a total of 50. So, again, yeah, these little spots here where we got um, a double and a triple or a double and a double lined up. I'm just kind of blind to that. Need to look at that a bit more. Oh boy. Well, that's incredible. There's got to be a word here. Like, I would expect there to be a bingo. And it could go in row three, or row four, or row five, or row six. Or it could go parallel to one of these many words. So that doesn't really help me narrow it down any. Um, yeah, I'm stumped. I don't know. Mix olive. Locomotive. That ain't it. Uh, 